Hi, this is lesson two for section 3.1. I made a mistake when I typed this and I started working this out and realized that I had the wrong ordered pairs. So I'm just going to mark it out for now. I'll fix it on the PowerPoint later. But we're going to check to see if each ordered pair is a solution to 3x plus y equals 8. Now if it is a solution, that means it's on the line. Any solution is on the line, and even any ordered point on the line is a solution. So we're going to take this equation and substitute each of these ordered pairs. So 2 goes in for x, and 3 goes in for y, and then we're just going to check and see. So that 6 plus 3 equals 8, that is false. So we will say no, right, because 9 does not equal 8. Now let's try this one, 8, 0. So we'll have 3 times 8, because that's my x-coordinate, plus 0 for y, that's my y-coordinate. I'll go ahead and put parentheses since we substituted. And so I end up with 3 times 8, which is 24 equals 8. That is false. So this one is not a solution. And now let's try this last one. So the last one is 0, 8. That means 0 goes in for x, 8 goes in for y, and we're checking to see does that equal 8. Well, 3 times 0 is just 0. 8 equals 8. That is a true statement. The two sides are equal. And so this is a solution. And we're going to say yes. 0, 8 is a solution to this equation. All right, so this is the one that works. And the other two don't. Okay, let's try this again. This time our equation is negative one-half times x. So, or y equals negative one-half times x. So for the first substitution, we're putting zero in for y and zero in for x. And that means zero equals zero, and that is a true statement. So zero, zero is a solution. Okay, let's try negative four, two. All right, so we're going to put 2 in for y. Negative 1 half times negative 4 um, is 2. 2 equals 2 is a true statement. So once again, this is a yes. So you can see that there can be more than one that, that works for this, or none of them could. There's all kinds of different combinations that might happen here. 6, 3. All right, so 3 goes in for y, and 6 goes in for x. Well this is, says 3 equals negative 3 which is false. So the answer to this one is no. And these two were the ones that worked and gave us solutions. Okay so we're going to try this again. This one's a little tricky. y equals negative 2 is an equation of a horizontal line. And so there's no place to sub substitute for x. So basically if the y is negative 2, this is going to be a true statement. So I put the 2 in for y. You can see that's false, so we say no. On the next one, 2, negative 2. I'm going to put a negative 2 in for y. So you see that one is true, so we're going to say yes. And on the last one, I know this one may seem a little weird to you, but this is how you, you're you going to check it, right? We're going to just put what we can in the equation, which we can put negative 2 in for y. And that's a true statement again, so this is a yes. So this ordered pair and this ordered pair are both solutions. And you guys, because these are lines, you can have an infinite number of solutions. You can just go on and on and on and on with this. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so on this one we're looking for the missing part. We know one part, but we don't know the other part. This is why you had to learn how to solve equations in chapter 2, because basically we're going to substitute in the part we know, and then we're going to uh, find the missing part. Okay, so on the first one we're going to put negative 2 in for y. So that's 5 times negative 2, and that equals negative 1. So x plus 10. This is how you find ordered pairs, right? You pick a number to go in for x or y and find the other coordinate for that particular ordered pair. So subtract 10, and x is negative 11, right? So we found that ordered pair. Let's look at the next one. So we're going to put 4 in for x. 
So 4 minus 5y equals negative 1. Subtract the 4 because we have to solve for y. Oh yeah, let me put this one up here. So we're going to 4 comma... We're looking for the y on this one. Last time we, we found the x. And you can do this either way. It doesn't really matter. So now I have negative 5y equals negative 5. Divide by negative 5 to solve. And you see that y equals 1. And so that's our ordered pair with the missing part. So I'm going to stop the video and pick up um, where we left off here on the next one.